So what is microcurrent? Microcurrent is a low level of electrical current that mirrors the body's own natural current. It synchronizes the body's bioelectrical energy at the cellular level and is subsensory, which means it is not always felt. And not all muscles of the face are treated the same. Your device comes with two waveforms. The erase waveform will relax muscles to get tight from overuse. The educate waveform helps to tighten muscles that become lax. There is no visible muscle contraction to the skin or sensation that is needed to receive the full benefits and desired results. There is no heat or vibration that you will feel when using microcurrent. Your MyoLift Mini has an intensity range of 175 to 400 microamps, although you do have the ability to turn down that intensity all the way down to zero. This is a true microcurrent device that is used to enhance your facial muscles. It's the perfect introduction to microcurrent technology for anti-aging, product penetration, and skin tightening. It comes with calibrated timings, intensity, and waveforms. It has frequency-specific waveforms that work on different layers of the muscles. The erase waveform will lengthen muscles that have become tight from overuse. The educate waveform helps to work on toning and firming of the skin and boosting ATP to get desired results. This is your MyLift Mini screen. You will see on the left that it will show you what level that you are working in. Whether you're working in level one or level two, it will also show you what mode you are in which waveform, educate or erase. The status indicator bar will show you whether your device is on run or if it's on pause. When your device is on run, your conductivity bar will blink. It will become solid once your probes touch the skin. If your status indicator showing pause, you will not see your conductivity bar at all. You have a battery icon that shows you the level of your charge. It will show you your intensity level, which can be adjusted anywhere from zero up to 400. It shows your treatment time, and the only time that your device will beep is when you've run out of time and you will just need to uh, increase that. And of course, your conductivity bar app indicator is the most important, tells you if you're conducting or not conducting. Your MyLift Mini control panel helps you to make adjustments to your time, your intensity, and the levels that you're working on. You have your run or pause button on the left. Your intensity increments, whether you want to increase or decrease, is just by pressing the arrows. Same with the time. You can, if the only time that your device will beep is when it runs out of time, and all you need to do is press the upper arrow and add more time. You have your level one and level two erase keys. Level one is preset at 175, but that can be adjusted to a lower intensity. You also have your level two that is preset at 350. That can also be increased up to 400. You have your level one and level two also of your educate key. Both of these can be adjusted whether you want to increase it or decrease the intensities. This is a great facial muscle chart that will remind you of the muscle group you're working on and whether you're going to relax that muscle or whether you're going to lift that muscle. 
In the following slides, we will go through how to use the movements on each muscle group. When using the erase mode, the areas or muscle groups that you will be working on will be areas where we use expression. It will be the forehead, the 11 lines, the crow's feet, the upper and lower lip, as well as the chin area. When doing the forehead, you're going to place your probes together and you're going to pull them apart. You want to make sure you put enough pressure that you can see the skin stretch. You will do this movement along the whole forehead. If wrinkles are deep, you can increase the intensity to level two. The next set of muscles we're working on are those 11 lines. There are two movements. The first movement is holding one probe stationary in between your eyebrows and pulling away in an upward motion. You are stretching the procerus and asking it to relax. The second movement you do will be probes together, stretching apart and asking the corrugator muscle to relax. This will help to soften those 11 lines. We're now working on our crow's feet area. You will start with probes together and stretching and pulling apart in the crow's feet area. Do five to 10 passes. And if you have deep wrinkles there, increase your intensity to level two. We'll now work on the upper and lower lip probes together, stretching and pulling apart. Five passes, or if the wrinkles are deep, you can do 10 passes. You'll do the same movement on the lower lip. Probes together, stretching and pulling apart. We're now gonna work on the chin muscles. You have a muscle that runs down the middle and two muscles that run down the, on either side of that. You're gonna start with one stationary probe underneath your lip and you're gonna pull away. So we're stretching the muscle in the middle of the chin, asking it to lengthen. Once you've done the middle, you're gonna move your probe over and you're going to do it on each side. So holding one stationary, pulling down and stretching. And you will repeat this on the other side of the chin. Five to 10 passes. The facial muscles that you'll be using your educate mode on will be for your neck area, your chin, your jowl area, you will have your marionette lines, the upper cheek area, as well as the nasal labial fold area. You'll have your eye lifts and under eye areas that you will work on. We'll now work on the platysma. This is a muscle that is on the neck. When you start, you're going to have one stationary probe and you're going to go from the base of the neck, work it up and stop and hold it for five seconds. You'll do each movement three times and you wanna do this all along the neck. Stay away from the center of your neck where your thyroid is. So you wanna do it on both sides. This movement is for the jawline area. The platysma muscle comes up and it comes up around the jawline. So you're going to put one stationary probe above the jawline, grab from under the jawline, bring it up, pinch and hold for five seconds. And you're gonna do this movement three times all along the jawline and this will be for both sides of the face. 
We will now be working on the depressor inguli oris. This is responsible for creating those marionette lines. So the first movement is a probe above the lip, one grabbing from the, where the butt base of that muscle is, bringing it up and pinching and holding. And you're holding each movement for five seconds. You will repeat this movement three times. The second movement is putting one by the side of your nose, grabbing from that muscle and bringing it up and pinching and holding. Holding each movement for five seconds. You can see it's turning the side of the mouth up. The next movement is the upper cheek area. Now you will be doing this along the whole cheek area, starting near the nose, working your way towards the ear. We are hold one stationary probe near the upper, near your orbital bone. You will grab and you're gonna pinch and hold for five seconds. Each movement is done three times. And you'll do this on both sides of the face. We're now gonna work on the larger muscles of the face. There's the rosorius and the zygomaticus major and minor. These are our largest muscles of the face. You're going to first do the pass, which we are, is the rosorius, and one probe is held near the ear lobe. The second probe is grabbed from the side of the mouth, bringing it over and stopping and you're doing that movement three times, holding five seconds each. The second movement is holding one probe up near your upper cheek, grabbing from the side of the mouth, bringing it over, as you can see, and stopping and pinching and holding. Five seconds, this movement's done three times. And then you're gonna take your stationary probe and you're gonna move it up a little bit higher and you're grabbing up a little bit higher. As you can see in on the facial chart, there are three muscles that you're engaging. And we want to ask this, this is for the nasal labial folds. We want to get those to lift. Three movements holding for five seconds. We're now going to work on the eye area. We're going to start on the eyebrow for our eyebrow lift. You will hold one stationary probe above at the, be at the beginning of the eyebrow, the front of the eyebrow, and you will bring it up, pinch and hold for five seconds, doing each movement three times. The second movement is the middle of the eyebrow. Stationary probe above the middle, Grabbing from underneath, bringing it up and pinching and holding for five seconds, doing each movement three times. Then you have the end of the eyebrow. Same thing, stationary probe, grabbing from underneath, bringing it up, pinching and holding for five seconds, doing each movement three times. And the last area we will work on is going to be underneath the eye, this needs to be down, this needs to be used on level one. You want to use a low intensity and the movement is very gentle as the under eye area is very delicate. When you take a probe, you hold your stationary near the tear duct. You're grabbing from underneath on the outside and slowly just bringing it in towards your stationary, holding for five seconds, doing each movement three times. The hands-free conductive masks can be used after you do a microcurrent treatment. You wanna have a little added, uh, added extra. You can add one of these masks, especially on areas where you might wanna soften fine lines and wrinkles on the surface of the skin. It helps to boost adenosine triphosphate production in the cell, which is the energy inside the skin cell. The ATP molecules fuel all cellular functions in the body. It helps to stimulate collagen production, improving its elasticity, and reducing the appearance of pores. 
helps to improve moisture retention, will minimize the surface wrinkles and texture, helps reduce puffiness and dullness. These masks can be used up to 15 times. You can use two masks at the same time, but you will need to get our splitter wire, which will basically split the intensity, but allow you to do two masks at the same time. We do recommend you use 300 microamps when you're using one mask, but if it feels prickly at any time, you can turn your intensity down. These masks can be cleaned if they start to lose some of the stickiness on the back. If you take a gauze pad and you put a little bit of rubbing alcohol, you can wipe off that sticky part and it might help it to stick a little bit longer. As long as your mask is conducting, that means it is still working. When the masks stop conducting, it will be time to replace them. How to care for your device. It is recommended that you clean your device or wipe off the metal probes with alcohol. You don't want to use anything too caustic as you could cause the metal around the probe applicators to rust. You want to wipe the unit well. You want to store your device when not in use in a covered area as it, to keep it away from water or collecting dust. And you want to keep your wires loosely wound.